Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday, everybody. On this 17th of September, how's everybody doing? Good to see you, Donna, Mark. Good to see you, Phil, Steve, Eric, George, James. Look at all these. All right, Grant. Good to see you. Good morning. You know, it's funny. I, 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 like, I like to make a little, uh, bring something up. Um, I, I, I'm starting to decide. I got to start getting into shape, right? So I want to go. Um, I want to go to the gym and start working out a little bit. You know, when you get to that age, you want to start like you know, you're starting to get a little sluggish a little bit. So it's funny. I'm like, I'm thinking about like going to the gym and and, and how to do things. And like, it's really hard to get motivated to do something which end up being more work. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is that. Do you see how you guys wake up every morning and like, it's not even a thought in, in your mind. It's like, I, I, like this weekend, I couldn't wait until Monday came. I'm like, it's like, I, my head is so focused on like, what a great week we had this past September already. I'm just so psyched just to get into it. And like, I wish I had the same motivation <laughs> when it comes to that. But it just shows you guys how all of you are so motivated. You get here more in the morning, you wake up, you get into the trading room, you know exactly what's going on. And because you know what? There's a lot of money to be made. We're having a lot of fun and that's what's the most important. Just set my alarm to go. I'm here at 6 a.m., James. I, you know, that's funny. I always see you here early, like one of the first ones in here. Um, but anyway, it's a way to uh, kind of makes you feel like how, you know, the motivation works and how motivated you guys are. And it's just great to see you guys all in here. Anyway. Uh, regarding it being on Monday, hopefully everyone had a great weekend. We have a lot of new members uh, that are, are joining us uh, for the first week, you know, and let me tell you just really quick, uh, regarding uh, being a new um, member here at CTU, the most important thing you need to do, talk to education advisor, let them tell you what you're looking at, what you're seeing, watch the videos, and um, you're probably going to be very confused, which is a good thing, which is a good thing, but... Remember, you're here to look, listen, and learn, the three L's, all right? Now, uh, regarding about also what's going on this week, guys, we do have the new cycle of the courses that are starting, phase one and two, and three are coming up, so everyone just be very prepared, uh, see everybody in class. Remember, that is where we spend most of our time. For some of you here that want to know, how do we know to buy these and buy that? Listen, you are in our war room. This is our war room, our trading room. You want to learn how to do it? That's our teaching room. That's starting tomorrow, so make sure you guys... If you know, and that's the live ones. Remember, seventy percent of the courses are all different, so make sure that you're in that class because uh, we always change them up. Now, regarding about what's going on also this week is that um, Wednesday is Yom Kippur. Now, kids are off from school. It's right smack in the middle of the week. It's not an early week. It's not the end of the week. And also, Yom Kippur uh, sundown uh, starts on my birthday, actually on the 18th tomorrow, and. Um, so anyway, with that said, um, I know a lot of people are taking off going into this week. Um, if the market's are already slow, well, thank you very much, Grant. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Don't worry, I'll remind you again tomorrow. <laughs> uh, 47 I'll be. Could you believe it? Unbelievable. Thanks a lot, Amy. Thanks, everyone. But, um, but I'm not expecting to be that crazy of a moving market. Obviously, you heard what happened with... Uh, the tariffs, uh, President Trump is going to start implementing $200 billion in tariffs. And the market's really not reacting too much to it. We're only down about 20 points on the futures. But uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that. Probably won't see things start picking up more towards the end of the week. Now, um, yeah, NIO, Benito, it is dropping fast, right? And, and you know what? We'll look at that too also, uh, the NIO. Let me tell you, we made good money with that trade. Good thing we got out of that. You know, look at that. That was all, you know, listen, when a stock trades that crazy amount of shares, that's what we expect to happen. We, we did that with IQ. Now, regarding about also, I want you guys to be very focused on, I had a long conversation um, with a good friend of mine. Uh, my son does crew, uh, and we had a uh, we had a crew meet this weekend up in, uh, up in Boston. And, uh, you know, I hang out with a lot of, you know, guys that run work at the top banks and top brokerage firms. And I was telling them, like, you know, um, and these guys, let me tell you, they're the smartest people in the, in the industry. I mean, they really are. They know their stuff. And I was telling them, it's, listen, you know, I'm a little nervous about this market. Um, he was telling me about that that Wall Street is a little concerned about, you know, they, they see the, 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 the U.S. economy, the taxes really helped out a lot, uh, the tax cut, and they see growth. You know, um, for the next uh, for the next couple of years, I says, you know, I'm a little concerned about the 
you know, about the impeachment talk and stuff like that. If, you know, with the Democrats, how do we play this? And he goes, well, he goes, what I'm what I'm doing and what we're all doing is I want you guys to look at this stock. U V X Y. OK, does anybody know about this stock? U V X Y. OK, well, anyway, this stock right here. If you go back and um, this stock was a long, long time ago. You could see was a was a thirteen million dollar stock. I mean, it's going way, way back. Uh, but this stock did so many reverse stock splits, and you know, but this stock was a very, very expensive stock. You can see it was like ten thousand back in two thousand sixteen. So if you, yeah, it's 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 a double short, right? It's a, it's a very. This is where like ETFs, like if you don't want to trade options to do a leap on the S and P, this might be a very good insurance policy. So I'm just letting you know myself. Um, it, it's so cheap. It came down so much that if you bought a hundred shares, like an option trade. You know what I mean? This thing, I mean, if you remember, it did go to 30 uh, when we had that little correction in the Dow when the market dropped about 3,000 points. Let me just show you. And that was back in February, but that thing went up all the way to, um, went all the way up to about $30. This is something that would be very, very, uh, as a good insurance policy, I'm thinking about buying. Just, you know, to protect some of the positions that I own and also to make money on the opposite side. Remember, one of the biggest things, um, no, the symbols are, is is U V X Y. Okay, so just to give you guys a little heads up, one thing that I always like about options, which a lot of people don't use it in that in that perspective, is insurance policy, right? So one of the other ways of not just getting into the option, you could do it also, you know, leveraging yourself on a, a ETF. And this is the only time I would probably ever consider. Uh, doing a trade on ETF. So anyway, you bought 100 shares, guys. 100 shares of the stock is $7, is 700 bucks. You know, what's the worst thing that could happen? It goes down to $3. You know, as long as it doesn't end up being like HMNY, <laughs> they just got decimated, you know. But other than that, we should be fine. All right. Some of these types of ETFs are uh, repriced every day. Just don't grab any of these. Yeah, they do. They do, Ken. And that's something that you also got to consider. I'm not a big ETF guy. I don't know too much about them. I'll be totally honest with you. But I leave that to guys that do deal with them all day long. And that's, you know, when, when, when you know, and the good thing is by me being here, and I always tell you guys as being a tra uh, being part of Cybertree University, the best traders in the world are in New York. Okay, this is the financial capital of the world. All right, this is where it all started. And you know now I know it's globally, but at the end of the day, this is where they are. The options guys are in Chicago. You know the the movie stars are in Hollywood. The the the, the cooks are in Italy. I mean, listen, they're all the oil is in, in Alberta and Texas. You know what I'm saying? So we all have our niches where it goes generation to generation. So I, as I hear it, I'll just pass it on to you. All right. Now the other big news I want to talk about is Coke. All right, what the hell is going on with Coke? Well, apparently Coke is looking to get into the into the pot business. Uh, what do they want to do? They want to put pot in their sodas. Um, so instead of calling it Coke, you know, which is probably cocaine. <laughs> I, don't know. I was I always looked at that. I'm like, why do they call it Coke? You know, um, but um, they will call the make make a name for pot. You know, regarding about that one on on, on the Coca Cola side. But anyway. A lot, and, and what's causing that little bit of a rally in TRL, T, um, TLRY, you could see that one, is been, uh, has a really nice little pop right here. And uh, just thought when you thought, thought this thing was going to go down, boom, now we're right back up where we are, where we started. So anyway, the longer the stock trades at these prices, the better it is for the stock, the more healthy it is. You know, and that's why they go keep going up. So anyway, I want to keep an eye on the TLROI and I want to keep an eye on the Coke. All right, a couple of the stocks I want to add on to the list on our watch list, MYND, which a lot of you guys have already been looking at already. The stock um, had a nice little pop rate in pre-market, gapped up a little bit, but she did come back down a little bit. That one I want to keep on the watch list. A lot of you guys are looking at that one. ABIL. Another one I want to put on our watch list. Some of you remember this. We traded the stock before. She was doing pretty good in pre-market, but she just backed off all of a sudden. It looks like she's getting a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. NEPT is another one. A lot, another little cheapy stock right here, gapping up pretty nice. But they're all backing off. Um, 
and SWZ is another one I throw on there. That one's getting a little bit of crushed right there. You could see that one. But um, but overall, I, I said this earlier in the in the in the um, in the morning hours. I didn't really see that much of a crazy direction in the stocks. So it's to me, I said it earlier. I said it's kind of flat right now. So it's typical Monday. You know, you got a big holiday that probably the biggest Jewish holiday of the year, which is Yom Kippur. So that. Being on a Wednesday, a lot of people, beautiful day here in New York. Maybe people start to make it a long weekend, whatever it is. Um, but I'm just telling you, th these are things you always got to factor in when it comes to trading. What's going on? What's coming up? What's out there? And that will let you know with, with the direction of where the market's going and, and what to trade and when to be aggressive, when not to be aggressive. Uh, regarding about the NIQ, NIO, I'll bring that up again. It does got some big support levels right around here around the 920 price if it breaks out that thing is done but like um like some of you are taking these little profits which is good just um today is just base hits don't don't remember it's monday you know listen when, when the market opens up we somehow we always find new ones that will come out but as of right now i'm not completely sold on a lot of stocks that are moving all right uh william says what about the nb the nbev the, it's got a nice little push. It's got it, it's making a little bit of a pop up, twenty eight percent, good volume, good everything. Definitely put it on the watch list. N B E V. Okay, she's just made a little pop right around nine o'clock. She just came up on my radar. You can see it right there. But she's holding pretty strong right there. So definitely yes, that's a good call right there. Good call, good call out there. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, William. Uh, the original, the originality of cocaine is coke. <laughs> I can't say that, Kathy. That's so fun. Go, coca. There you go. All right. Well, looks like we'll, we'll set to see what coke comes up with. Hey, maybe Pepsi might do the same, right? But listen, the, uh, I just want to kind of bring it up regarding about the whole pot thing. I just said in the chat room, it looks like anything that has to do with pot is the new block, uh, the new blockchain new cryptocurrency thing. Remember we all those stocks were taking off Kodak, Elfin, Long Island Ice Tea. All these companies were like we're trying to capitalize on the whole block blockchain, cryptocurrency type of thing and everyone's you know talking about it. Well, now it's the new wave pot stocks. And we and they've been around for a while, but now you're seeing it. This is not the typical story, you know, which I was by the way, I was never a fan of the cryptocurrency and I knew you could see it's not really going anywhere now. Um, but I was never a fan of it, but you know, knowing that here in the United States and then making they're trying to legalize it all over the place, it's obviously it is a play. So let's keep a close eye on that. All right, guys. So anyway, listen, good luck everyone, happy trading, and we'll see you back at 2:30. And uh, remember, if you're a new trader, look, listen, and learn. And if you're if you're a cyber trader, see something, say something. Good luck, everybody. See you back at the 2:30 meeting. Let's make some money.